Today I'll be concluding my tour of the cemeteries in the St. Louis area by exploring St. Peter's Cemetery and then the Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. My first stop is at St. Peter's Catholic Cemetery located northwest of downtown St. Louis. Consisting of about 120 acres, St. Peter's is the final resting place of Baseball Hall of Famer Cool Papa Bale and Tuskegee Airman Wendell Pruitt. A steady rain is falling as I stop at the grave of Baseball Hall of Famer James Thomas Bale, better known as Cool Papa. Bell played and coached in the Negro Leagues for nearly 30 years and had a lifetime batting average of 337. Cool Papa Bell was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1974. My next stop is at the grave of Captain Wendell O. Pruitt, who was a member of the famed Tuskegee Airmen. Serving as a pilot during World War II, Captain Pruitt was a member of the All-African-American 332nd Fighter Squadron. Having distinguished himself in battle, Captain Pruitt was reassigned stateside to help train new pilots. On April 15, 1945, Captain Wendell O. Pruitt was killed during a training exercise near Tuskegee, Alabama. rain continued and I decided to cut my visit to St. Peter's Cemetery short and head about 30 miles south to Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. What a difference a couple of hours and 30 miles made. By the time I pulled through the entrance gates, it had warmed up and the skies had cleared. Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery is located on the banks of the Mississippi River, about 30 miles south of downtown St. Louis. It was established as a national cemetery in 1866 and today covers 331 acres. It is the final resting place of about 190,000 veterans and their families. The Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1998. My first stop is at the gravesite of John Francis Buck, who is better known to baseball fans as Jack Buck, the longtime voice of the St. Louis Cardinals. In 1954, Jack Buck became the voice of the Cardinals and held that position for the next 47 years. During his career, he covered 18 Super Bowls and 11 World Series. His most famous calls include the walk-off home run by Ozzie Smith in Game 5 of the 1985 World Series and by Kirk Gibson in Game 1 of the 1988 World Series. Jack Buck was inducted into the broadcast wing of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1996 and into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1987. Resting just a short distance from Jack Buck is Lieutenant Michael Joseph Blassie. Lieutenant Blassie's remains rested at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery as the unknown service member from the Vietnam War from May 28, 1984 until July 10, 1998. His remains were later identified and at the request of his family, Lieutenant Blassie was reinterred here in the Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. This is the grave of Richard Gentry, a native of Kentucky and a veteran of the Revolutionary War. He was present at Yorktown and witnessed the surrender of Lord Cornwallis. The Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery is the final resting place of a number of Medal of Honor recipients. Join me as we remember each of these heroic veterans.